Golden Guardians not only to survive, but for Huhi to try to get out of lane and try to force that Morgana to match his roams so that FBI can kind of just be Look, farming and pretty much assume that he is going to be going for the Proto Belt rush. Uh, generally, the two builds that you see these days, it's all AP, so it's just what they're going to retain his roughly 10 CS deficit. Wiggly heading up to the top side. Here comes the hard engage. There's a little bit of health on Hawks, but he's got to try to run away as fast as he can. Get smited. The flash forward ulti is on. Pull Belter's here as well. Goodbye to Hans, or CLG find first blood of the top lane. Well done, as yeah. Hanser was just looking to actually push that in, and Poe Belter was on a move timing, you know, use the ulti to get up there, but Golden Guardians are in a great spot to actually trade back. They're just gonna straight up take that mid lane tower with the Rift Herald Don. here. So Rise In about five exactly. seconds. They probably want him there for that one. Proto Belt's done. No ult for the cannon. But look at that. A gold card, a stun, and Tempered Fate just barely flashed away with Poe Belter. But that is now oh, an engage Whoa. for Closer. Ults him right back in. Goodbye, Vengeance from a top laner. TP in a mid for Ruin. There's TF ult to spot everything out. Is this fight going to be good? Who he's going to flash backwards to Ruin in place. The Wiggly wants in, finds a stun. Who he's trying to run for his life. And FBI is there to go right back in. The dunk backwards from the Volo Bear. Shots coming through from Ophelia. Closer wants right back in as well, and Golden Guardians are on the hunt to push CLG away. A flash forward, Kennen's in. There's a stun on one, a root on the other, and it's three unanswered kills for Golden he did find members from Golden Guardians. He was in a good position for a flank, but the problem yeah, is... Yeah, he says, I'm 1v2, it's okay, no big problems here. As the squad comes around and knocks down the wards, now a play on the bottom side. CLG not done just yet. Big stun for Hotzer. Damage on a Pope. Ruin is very tanky. Is it going to be enough? Golden Guardians, will they lose their top later? They will not until the very oh. end, but he gets the two for one. Hotzer will take those, and they will take a kill on the top side of the map as well. Wait, land a lot of the damage, it seemed like. A lot of miscues there from Poe Belter. And Hauntzer did a good job kind of avoiding some of that Back position. Out. Hey, it's still a cooldown. It's still several minutes. Spellbook was nerfed this patch, but now it's another counter punch. Golden Guardians right there, easily tanking the root from who he has now ruined. Is kind of trying to run away, gets his own root back, and will not survive it. Away and who he again on that roam. They saw that Wiggly as well as Poe Belter were up on that top side, trying to kill off Demonte. So when CLG can't pull that off on the top side. Golden Guardians knows they have that window to make a play on the bottom side without there being much of a response, and they are able to pull it off. Very well done by them. Even going to be able to drop the Rift Herald and take That's their fourth tower here. CLG has a great comp. And FBI are all over the map making all these plays closer with... You know, the phase rush gets the, the face breaker into running behind you to dunk you back into the team. Golden Guardians still pushing all three lanes. They are pressuring here. Pobelter and Wiggly looking for the engage. Yeah. TF ult in, brings Wiggly. Here comes the fight. FBI goes back around, but there is Bola Bear on top. Flashes barely gets himself alive, and now Smoothie's low on health. Can't quite go down. There we go. Cannon into the back line. going to find a whole bunch of stuns, but not quite the kill. So it's time for the re-engage. There is one kill on the board for the Callista, and Stix A is stacked up, but he has no one else to attack as his front line is gone. End of the day, two for one. Fight lead again goes to Golden Guardians. Golden Guardians were pushing all three lanes, still able to react and actually win out on that fight, and that is your gold lead in action there. Stix A now, maybe because right. Golden Guardians is just playing better and has a huge lead. All right, this could be a soul. fight. This could be the play. Dunks backwards. Not going to land the ult just yet. Comes back for the re-engage. Here comes the damage. Up, but Wiggly wants right back in, but still the Drake is too healthy. They're going for the fight instead. And it's a shutdown here for the Callista. Is it going to be enough? Cannon oh! in the back line. Hauntzer just kills everybody. FBI is low, but he can kite away and hit Ruin. Now Wiggly's next up on the block. He will get a <laughs> kill, but it's not going to be enough. The triple comes through. The he needs two to keep tracking, but vision control is already good enough. They're just going to grab this one. I like that they're only sending two or three just to, you know, get, allay suspicions, you know? No, don't worry. You, you can see DeMonte, he's waved clear. You can see Kennedy, he's waved clear. We're not, oh, Baron's gone. And that was actually the TP from Pobelter down to that bottom lane, you know, just to get that tower. Three members from CLG were down there, but they lose the top lane tower. No, the saplings do a little bit of poke, a little bit of vision control. CLG still trying to fight over their territory. Baron buff ending in 40 seconds. Time for the top lane siege as the Chukram turret goes down, and the turret itself is dropped as well. Closer wants in, dunks in the back line, finds some damage, looks at the kill on a smoothie, push them right back in. Now on a pole belt, they're getting low, and now in the front line is Ruin. Redemption coming down to keep them healthy. They're going to be just safe. Closer's got flash. Okay well, and Stixay got to be an easy target, trying to flash away, can't survive it. One kill picked up. Now the redunk for Buller, but it's not going to be enough. It's trying to run away, just barely, barely getting his life. But CLG have already lost one. They will lose two. The carries are gone, and Golden Guardians are in the base to take a 30-minute win.
They will lock an upper bracket berth in playoffs. They will tie their record for most wins in a split, and they've still got two to play. Golden Guardians, nine and seven. We know they're going to playoffs. The question is how deep can they go? They will close down the turret. They will lose with the kill, Hanser. I am so sorry you had to die. And maybe Golden Guardians will close the game out here. CLG is still fighting with their last breath, but it's going to be the last one here. The next one will fall, and Golden Guardians will knock down CLG. An incredible game here from Golden Guardians, playing it very, very well, start to finish. CLG never really got a foothold 